Hi everyone, welcome to AI Product Builders. Do you know that you can automate your workflow by having AI agents work for you? You can build these AI agents without any coding experience. You can create this intelligent assistance in just less than 10 minutes. So in next seven minutes, I'll guide you through the process of building your very own AI agent using Autogen Studio. These agents will automate your tasks, having you save an incredible amount of time. So let's understand how we can build one. Let me quickly share what we are building today. We are building a very practical use case today. We'll build an agent team that takes a YouTube URL, retrieves the YouTube transcript, and then uses those transcripts to create a blog post and a LinkedIn post, right? So you have a YouTube video which you want to convert into, you know, a blog post or a LinkedIn post. What you would be doing is you copy the transcript, go to chat GPT, ask it to create a blog post by writing a prompt and then convert it to a LinkedIn post. All of this can be done by having multi-agents. So you see that agents are working on the task. It already created me a blog post and a LinkedIn post. The first step is the you know, YouTube transcript getter, which is the YouTube transcript from the video with the provided URL. And then once the transcript is ready, you see it over here. Based on the transcript, our content writer has written a blog post and a LinkedIn post and YouTube transcript getter and content writer are communicating between themselves. So this is how agents communicate within themselves and work together. So let's start by understanding what is Autogen Studio. Autogen Studio is a platform for developing AI agents that work together to complete tasks. It's powered by Autogen Framework, which is an open source library that enables providing a multi-agent conversation framework. So it's an open source project by Microsoft. With Autogen Studio, users can rapidly create, manage, and interact with agents that can learn, adapt, and collaborate. So here are detailed instructions how you can install Autogen Studio. Autogen Studio provides you a UI to create chat sessions with the specified agents and also view results. Head over to your terminal. Before installing Autogen Studio, you have to set up your API key um, in the environment variable here, we'll be using OpenAI. So I'll start set, use export OpenAI API key equal to enter your Open API key and say pep install Autogen Studio. Once you're done installing, you have to run the web UI by entering following in your terminal. This opens up our terminal, click on it and you end up in Autogen Studio. Let me also quickly show you how you can get your API key. So head over to openai.com and click on Explore API. Just log in with your account. If you don't have an account, just create one and click on API. So you end up in OpenAI Developer Platform. And once you end up here, click on API Keys and click on Create New Secret Key. Just give it a name and say Create. A secret key i already have my secret key over here and save it in a very safe place that's how you can get your api key now that you have autogen studio installed and running you're ready to explore its capabilities um the autogen studio ui is organized into three high level sections build playground and gallery and the build section has four sections under it skills models agents and workflows Skills are Python functions that describe how to solve a task. In general, a good skill has a very descriptive name. For example, generate image, and this is the Python function for generating an image. And models is where you select your AI model. You have GPT-4 powered by Azure OpenAI GPT-4. This is by OpenAI model configuration. And if you would like to add more models, you can do so by over here. And then agents, this is where you'll create your agents. This provides an interface to declaratively specify properties for any auto gen agent. And then this is where you define the workflow once you define the agents. Or agent workflow is a specification or a set of agents that can work together to complete a task. So the old version of Autogen Studio allowed you to create only two agents, but now you can create more than two agents to complete a certain task. So that's what the UI looks like. Let me quickly share what we are building today. 
So I would be creating three agents over here. Agent one is the YouTube transcript getter, someone who helps take the YouTube URL and gets the transcript from a video. And the agent two is a content writer, takes the YouTube transcripts and converts it to a blog post and a LinkedIn post. And agent three is a group chat manager. So agent three is basically a project manager, an assistant skilled at coordinating a group of other assistants to solve a task. The task this agent will solve is taking a YouTube URL, having an agent use agent one, use the fetch YouTube transcript skill to get the transcript from the YouTube video, pass the transcript to the content writer, and then having the content writer create a blog post and a LinkedIn post based on the transcript. So these are our agents and the steps involved, you know, in creating this this flow, workflow is basically you have to start by installing Autogen Studio, which I already showed you. And then you have to add a skill. This is a Python function, which I already mentioned. So in our case, the Python function will be fetch YouTube transcript. And then we'll be adding a model here. I'll be using GPT-4. And then we'll be creating agents. As I mentioned, we'll be creating um, a YouTube transcript data, a content writer, and a group chat manager. So this is how the entire workflow looks like. Now let's start by creating the skill. Head over to Autogen Studio, click on new skill, and say fetch YouTube transcript. This is the skill. So this is basically how a sample skill could look like. You basically have to define a Python function for our YouTube. We'll be defining a function called extract transcript details. Here we'll be using a library called YouTube transcript api so once uh, as soon as we uh, have the library over here autogen studio understands that that it has to import the library and basically this code defines a function extract transcript details to extract and return a youtube videos transcript as a single string it works as follows basically it passes the video id from the given youtube url and then uses the YouTube transcript API library to retrieve the video's transcript, which comes as a list in a dictionary with text segments. And then we combine the text, all segments into a single string. And then we also have an, some error handling in case of an error, it prints an error message and returns none. So this is a basic function on extracting transcript from a YouTube URL. And we'll click on save. So once you are done defining the skill fetch YouTube transcript, we'll start by creating a model. You can use the existing models provided over here or you can add a new model by clicking on new model. So I've included a model saying GPT 3.5 Turbo 0125. This is the model I want to use and I've copy pasted my API key over here. And you can also click on test model and see if the model is working perfectly and click on save. And then now we'll start creating our first agent. Our first agent is YouTube transcript getter. This YouTube transcript getter will take a YouTube URL and gets the transcript from a video. So we'll say new agent, agent name is YouTube transcript getter. So the description is takes a YouTube URL and gets the transcript from a video. And we have to also pass over the system message over here. I will say, you're an AI agent that uses fetch YouTube transcript skill to get a YouTube transcript for subsequent processing. So we have to specify the model we'll be using here. So here we'll be using GBD 3.5 Turbo, which we defined. And you have to add the skill. The skill is what we defined, fetch YouTube transcript, add skill, and click on OK. Now, we have to create our second agent, which is content writer. See, content writer. So the agent description is basically, now we'll describe what the agent should be doing. Takes raw YouTube video transcript and converts it to a blog post and LinkedIn post. And then we'll pass over our system message over here. Our system message is you are an insightful, intelligent and compelling content writer who can take raw YouTube video transcripts and turn them into insightful blog posts and LinkedIn posts. Again, we have to mention our model over here. I'll be using GPD 3.5 Turbo. Click on OK. 
so we have created our two agents that is youtube transcript getter and content writer and now we have to define the workflow so <laughs> this is where you define your workflow and this is where we'll be using a th third agent that is group chat manager we'll start by clicking on group chat and mention the workflow over here so the workflow is youtube transcript to content and the workflow description is something like this takes takes a youtube url gets the transcript from a video and then create a blog post and linkedin post from the youtube video and now click on group chat assistant this is our project manager who would be coordinating between the two agents click on group chat assistant and you have to mention who will be the uh, agents one first agent is youtube transcript getter and second agent is a content writer and i'll keep the rest as it is you have to be very specific with the system message over here my system message over here says that you are a helpful assistant skilled at coordinating a group of other assistant to solve a task that the task you will solve is taking a youtube url having an agent use the fetch youtube transcript that is a transcript getter to get the transcript from the video and pass the transcript to a content writer and then having the content writer create a blog post and a linkedin post based on the transcript mention your model over here again gpd 3.5 turbo and click on ok so once you're done defining the workflow let's check if this workflow is working head over to playground click on session the workflow you want to check is youtube transcript to content click on create enter a prompt the prompt here we are using is take this youtube video url i've included my own youtube video url and we are using the skill fetch youtube transcript which we defined to get the youtube transcript from the youtube video and we are also mentioning remote any timestamps if any and then create a blog post and linkedin post on the transcript we click on yes we see the agent is working so you see that agents are working on the task it already created me a blog post and a linkedin post the first step is you know youtube transcript getter fetches the youtube transcript from the video with the provided url and then once the transcript is ready you see it over here based on the transcript our content writer has written a blog post and a linkedin post and youtube transcript getter and content writer are communicating between themselves so this is how agents communicate within themselves and work together so once the agents are done communicating you see that there have been 10 messages which have been exchanged between our youtube transcript getter and our content writer and it took 2 minutes 26 seconds so this is how agents work together to complete a particular task so that's it for today if you would like to see more such tutorials and want me to create more such real world use cases please do let me know over in the comment section and if you like this video please do share and subscribe thank you see you